So, anyways, um, more on that later. And the is active is basically saying is the is the sprite supposed to move or not? So it's basically checking to see if you are pressing a button or not. If you're not pressing a button, then it knows that the sprite isn't active. And you'll see why we need to check for this as well. So let's go to our while um our game loop. So to for good programming practice, let me put game loop and let me put update loop. So let's look at our update loop. So you already know how to create an update loop. We said if they press the escape key, then we set done equals to true, which is the boolean variable we created before. So exit the screen. Now we set is active is equal to true. So we're basically saying the sprite is indeed moving already before we even check for key presses. Now you're saying why are we doing this? Well, you'll see later on. So basically we say if, the, if they press the right key then we move our sprite towards the right right. This isn't new to you. But then we set our current frame, our y our current frame one, which is talking about the y coordinate, we set that equal to right. And if you'd forget what right is, remember about the enum that we created earlier, down, left, right, up, it would just set it to right and then reality it will change that into the value two which is what right is really representing it's just it just and imagine the enum as like a define it's basically just like a define just in a more organized fashion okay so same thing for the left if we press the left button we move it to the left and we set the frame to left um if we press down then we move in the y coordinate we move it down towards the screen and we set the current frame to down and if we press the up arrow key, you move it up towards the, the um up on the screen, and the current frame is set to up, right? So it just knows how to basically setting the current frame to these is just basically indicating to draw the up animations on your sprite um and on your sprite sheet, and then you say if none of these are true, so if you're not pressing up um right, left, down, or up, then the sprite is indeed it is not active right so it says it is active but then if you're not pressing um, any of them then it's saying okay fine it is not active so if the sprite is active then it has does a bunch of stuff in here now it's a bunch of new stuff that I haven't taught before but because you don't have to worry about all this stuff if you're not doing regulating frames per second and using timers but when you're using timers, then you have to worry about this, okay? So I'm saying if 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 active is equal to true, then we increment frame counter by one, okay? So if we look at the beginning, frame counter is equal to zero, okay? And basically, we're saying that once frame counter is greater or equal to switch frame, then we want to switch the frame. So this is just basically I'm um, counting up to when we reach switch frame. So it's basically kind of a timer between the frames that we switch to, right? So let's go back down here. So um also to make the program more fluent or better efficient, I should probably set frame counter to zero here. And um you'll understand this later. So I'm basically saying I'm incrementing frame counter by one each time. And another way you could do this is just putting frame counter plus plus. And then I say if frame counter is greater or equal to the switch frame, then I put current frame zero plus equals dimensions zero. And I reset the frame counter to zero. Now you're saying what did I just do there? Okay. So the current frame 0 is talking about the x coordinate as we specified before and then I mentioned um, the 0 is talking about the width and if it was set to 1 it would be talking about the height so let's look at it right now so current frame is equal to say current frame 0 is equal to 0 okay so let's look at it so our current frame is equal to 0 
so it starts drawing from say you're you're facing down you're pressing the down arrow and current frame is equal to zero so it's right here so and also draw this sprite image right here and you'll get to drawing it when we get to the blip functions but anyways we'll draw this image right here okay now once it reaches the switch frame then it says the current frame is not going to start drawing from here you add 32 because you say current frame plus dimension 0 which is basically saying the current frame is plus equals the actual images width so it says okay I'm not going to start drawing from here anymore I'm going to start drawing from over here so then it will start drawing this image then when it reaches the switch frame again it's like oh okay I'm not starting drawing from here anymore I'm going to start drawing from over here it draws this image it reaches the switch frame and it's like okay now I gotta start drawing from here right and then after when we check when when it checks and it's like oh this is the last image in the in the sprite sheet he's like oh now I have to reset myself and start drawing this frame and then therefore it cycles through the frames for a fluent animation so if I go to my program again it's basically this is basically just cycling through the images when frame counter is greater or equal to switch frame it just switches the image that is drawing simple enough and then right here it's just saying that if the current frame so it's basically saying if it's drawing the last picture then uh, the next time you do it then reset current frame equal to zero this should be simple enough and then if you're not active if the spread is not active then we reset the current frame we set the drawing pointer let's say to zero and we reset the frame counter to zero so if you look at um, whatever so say it was on this um it was on this frame right but we stopped the animation we stopped pressing down then it was like okay now we have to start we have to reset the drawing pointer back to zero so I'm just gonna draw this frame and then it'll basically just show a standing animation basically indicating that you're not moving anymore okay so I know this is a lot to grasp right now but um please be patient but anyways so let's go to our actual drawing uh, f functions and we're almost done learning about it so you guys could be happy about it and let me check my time so I'm about almost at 20 minutes so this is probably second or third video anyways um so if we look at we're doing a mass split because um we are we don't want to show the magenta background behind it okay now in our last tutorial we learned about draw sprite and I was telling you that the draw sprite isn't useful right why isn't it useful because if we were to do player image draw the player image all it asks you it would it just draws the whole image sorry it's player image one it draws the whole image at a certain position right so if I was to show you an example of this uh, position one and comment that out so what the draw spray does is it draws the whole image at um at a certain position but when we're working with sprite sheets we don't want to draw the whole image we just want to draw certain sections of the image right so and that's why we need the blip functions when working with sprite sheets